Hey, welcome back, everybody. This is going to be a fun time, I guarantee you. Myron Mixon is the winningest man in barbecue. Get this, 1,800 trophies, 30 state championships, 11 national championships, and this is a biggie. I live in Arkansas right next to Memphis. Let me tell you something. Five grand champion titles at the World Barbecue Championships in Memphis. That, my friend, is a big deal. It's like the World Series, winning it five times. Please welcome Myron Mixon. Myron, great to have you here. What an honor. And what a thrill. Look at this big old knife right here. That sucker is huge. Now, earlier today, you and Keith Bilberry Y'all went out and did a little cooking out on the lawn, didn't you? We did. We did. We just started out with a Wagyu brisket. A Wagyu a brisket. A Wagyu. We spared no expense for you, Governor. Well, you must have spared it because I hadn't had any yet. So <laughs> we better have some here, I'll tell you we that. We will. We will. So did, did you teach Keith anything? Well, let me tell you something. You gave me a Keith. Yeah. And I'm giving you back a pitmaster. Ooh. Whoa. I've heard him called a lot of things. That ain't one of them right there. We'll have to see about that. We figured that if we're ever going to find a person to teach him how to smoke a brisket properly, it's going to be you. And you spent the better part of the afternoon showing him how to do it. I think we ought to just first, before we taste anything, let's take a look at how that went. Let's do it. Keith, the governor has put me in charge of trying to make a barbecue man out of you today. It's, it's going to be an uphill battle. I mean, I can use a foreman grill and, and a Keurig, and that's about it. I'm good, but I don't know if I have a Mac grill. <laughs> oh, you are. I know you are. All right, what we got today, we got Wagyu brisket. Uh-huh. Top of the line, highest marbling there is. And very expensive. Very expensive. So we can't mess it up. I said, right, no, you can't mess it up. <laughs> I'm showing you, you got to execute. Okay, all right. First thing we got to do, always remember this, we got our rubs and seasons that go on at the end. Rub and seasoning does not stick to fat, so we got to always make sure we take the silver skin and the fat off. Okay. Just like we're doing here. Now this is the flat, F-L-A-T. This uh -huh. is where the slices are going to come from. We're going to roll it over. Right here's the point. Yep. Everybody's heard of the burn ends. This is the point, the fattiest part of the brisket. This is going to be where our burn ends come from. Uh -huh. This is the most tastiest part. So now that we've got it trimmed up, it's time to inject. We got our injection right here. It's a little beef au jus mixture I made up. Yeah, I like that. When you inject, always inject with the grain. It helps it flow through the meat. If you go across the grain, it doesn't flow as easy. That makes sense. So always inject with the grain. So start injecting. Look at it like a grid pattern. How deep do I put it? Just make sure you cover the holes there so it don't spurt back and hit you in the eyes. Oh, <laughs> that would be bad. That would be very that, bad, that... but it would be funny. Go ahead, that... mash it. Ooh. You want to do about half of the injection on this side, we'll roll it over and do the other half on the other side. Hit more on our hand, I'm going to roll it. I'm going to roll it. Whoa. All right. Don't mess up them sands of belt slacks you yeah. got on. All right, now. Do the yeah, same thing do. here? Yeah, you do. Go with the grain. See the grain? Yeah. All right. How oh. I knew it was going to happen sooner or later. Do I need goggles over here? Yeah, I think so. Remind me of Gallagher. <laughs> All right. Now we got our injection. It's time to put our rubs on. Okay. Got a little bit of vegetable oil. That's all you need. What that's going to do is allow our rubs to adhere uh -huh. to the meat, plus it gives a good mahogany color. And we'll let you apply the rub. Okay. Just lay it on. Huh? Lay it on. That's like my hickory rub. Now we're going to do layers. Okay. This is my wild game rub. It's got a few herbs in it. It makes it really tasty. And always remember this. Beef needs salt and it needs heat. Yeah. We got a little bit of heat in the hickory rub, and we got hickory salt here to finish it off. All right. Got it? Look at that. Now, when you apply and get this in, all I want you to do is push it down. Don't okay. do this, because it'll be uneven. Push, Just push it down. Push it down. All right, now we're going to roll it and get the top last. I always do your top last. Okay. That'll be the flat. I'm going to do the oil. Look at that. Now, don't you feel proud? I, I am truly proud. So, the next thing we got to do, we got our smoker. Okay. Looking at the smoker, the right hand side is generally hotter. Mm -hmm. You want the thick end down here, the point, the fatty part, okay. to go down there to that end. Here you go. All right. Fatty if you part. drop it, the whole world's dependent on you. Don't <laughs> drop it. Now look at that. All right, let your lid down and put it to bed. Good night. Now, 
Two hours from now, we're gonna take it. It's gonna have the bark on the outside. It's gonna have the smoke we need, the color we want. We're gonna pan it, wrap it in foil, put it back on the smoker at 300 degrees, and run it until we get 205 degrees at that point and turn on temp. Mm -hmm. Then it's done. I so, never knew so all Keith, this was involved. I think I have done the governor justice. I have trained you well. Do I get a certificate or badge? We'll wait and see how it turns out tonight for dinner. <laughs>